What's the best way to learn English? Should I start with reading or speaking? What's the specific plan for a week? And how long should I spend on learning every day? These are our common questions from English learners. Today, I want to create an English learning plan for those who want to comprehensively improve their English skills. This plan is inspired by findings from neurolinguistics. Neurolinguistics is a multidisciplinary field that examines the connection between language and the brain. It describes the anatomical structures involved in language. Simply put, it studies how your brain works when you are using or learning language. Based on neurolinguistics, Claude Germain and Jean Nathan developed the neurolinguistic approach, NLA. Originally used for teaching French, this approach can also offer some insights into creating an effective learning plan for English. At the end of this video, I will provide a complete plan for you to follow. Before we start making the plan, I want to explain the philosophies behind it by introducing two important concepts in NLA. The first one is internal grammar. This contrasts with external grammar, which includes concrete language knowledge taught in books, such as grammar rules or vocabulary lists. Internal grammar refers to skills you can use without thinking about them. Claude compared it to swimming or driving. Once you've learned these skills, you can perform them automatically without needing rules or instructions. It is similar to what we call yu gan in Chinese. Moreover, they have shown that external grammar cannot transform into internal grammar. This explains why someone who has systematically learned grammar rules may still struggle to speak English fluently. To better build the internal grammar, Claude proposed a second concept, prioritizing listening and speaking. Language is verbal before it's written. He pointed out that reading and writing rely on speaking skills. When you read, you can only understand what you can say out loud. When you write, what you can write depends on what you can speak. It might sound like a tongue twister, but in short, if you aim to speak fluent English and understand most spoken contents, this can happen even without studying a grammar book, much like how we learn our mother tongue as children. So, based on all of this, here's the weekly plan for comprehensive improvement. Each week, start with speaking and then follow the cycle, speaking, reading, writing, and speaking again. It's not a heavy burden and we can incorporate it into your daily routine. On Monday and Tuesday, focus mainly on speaking and listening. Practice shadowing or retelling to activate your spoken language and listening skills. No longer the case. Due to security, Due to security concerns, concerns, these grounds are, are open to the public twice a, twice a year. Due to security concerns, these grounds are only open to the public twice a year. Due to security concerns, these grounds are only open to the public twice a year. Then, on Tuesday, choose a topic you are interested in and express your ideas orally. If you don't know where to start, follow this structure. First, talk about the phenomenon and what's happening. Second, explain why it is happening. Third, discuss the impact of it. Fourth, share your opinion on it. Are you in favor or not? On Wednesday and Thursday, read an English article related to your topic from the previous day. You can search for articles on Bing using keywords like certain field plus trends, analysis, or expert reviews. Accumulate expressions from the passage by reciting some sentences and expand on your ideas. Friday and Saturday are writing days. Write a paragraph or a full passage to express your ideas on the topic. Try to combine your own thoughts with what you've learned from the article. By following the plan, you are working with your brain instead of against it. It might just be the most natural way to learn English or a second language. I know learning a language is tough, but it's also rewarding. Let's make it a little bit easier and more enjoyable. If you find this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to update me on your progress. See you next time.